How do you deal with Kai Stun Dipper? Stun Dipper is a fast special move that hits low and results in a soft knockdown. It's kind of funny when you do this out of nowhere when you see that your opponent isn't crouch blocking, but eventually your opponent will wise up and be on their guard for it. If it's blocked, it's heavily punishable, so it should be the Kai's goal not to use it on somebody's block. Also, if you use Stun Dipper too close to the opponent, the second part of the Stun Dipper can be blocked, which means that you'll be punished even though you hit the attack on the enemy. The best idea is to then use Crouching Slash into Stun Dipper, since hitting the Crouching Slash anywhere near the back end leads into the perfect Stun Dipper. After Stun Dipper, consider using a Roman Cancel to further your combos. This is best applied when the Stun Dipper isn't quite enough to kill somebody and you just need a little bit more damage to tack onto the enemies for the win. Keep in mind that Stun Dipper is a low profile move, which means that it can shimmy its way under certain attacks and beat them. When it comes to dealing with Stun Dippers out of nowhere, remember your ABCs. Always be crouching. The idea is that it's really darn hard to react to Stun Dippers since they're really darn fast. If you always crouch, you'll always block a Stun Dipper, even if you're not expecting it. If the Kai wants to beat your crouch, he has to either use an overhead attack or try to grab you, both of which are more than reactable, unless you're sleeping at the wheel. Eventually, Kai's Stun Dipper won't be as much of a threat in neutral as you get used to preemptively blocking it at the appropriate times. That's no reason to sleep on Stun Dipper, however, since adept Kai players can still utilize Stun Dipper's great speed and range to hit confirm off of seemingly random hits and score devastating wall breaks and wins. Make sure not to sleep on the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when I make my next video.